I'm excited. This is something new. This is what the academic Wissam Zarqa said before the elections began here in Idlib University on Monday, 7 August. Amid the running war in Syria, and especially in Idlib University, elections were run to choose a new president for leading the university. Academics were invited to the democratic ceremony to choose freely their president, who will lead the university towards a better future. Today we are electing uh, the chairman of the university, who is at the top of the hierarchy uh, of the organization system here in the university. Uh, today it's a new experience for, uh, for Idlib, I guess it's for Syria. Uh, this is the first maybe elect, uh, democratic event since ever, I guess, we are here to elect the president of uh, Idlib University. Three candidates presented themselves, Dr. Muhammad al-Sheikh, Dr. Mustafa Talib, and Dr. Reda Drahi. The candidates presented their missions and goals and their plans to lead the university that includes 7,000 students towards a better future. Dr. Muhammad al-Sheikh, the elected candidate, promised with huge efforts and solving all the cases in participation with the university management department, asserting that everyone should be responsible for their positions. It's such a great meeting for us. I'm feeling with great pleasure because of, you know, it's kind of, uh, it's somehow a democracy, you know, we are choosing our president of our university. It's such a great happiness because if we are doing something, you can say, it's improving our university, doing something good, improving our students and uh, achieving recognition for our university. Academics here in the university expressed their happiness for electing democratically a new president amid a war that torn the country and destroyed its educational system.